Guess what? I'm actually playing Fire Emblem on the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. Because I'm, I'm that much of a retro gamer. I even got the little GameCube background. Let's just make sure everything's in working order. Alright, good, good. Once dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lo all that was lost when mankind disrupted. This balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war. That shook the foundations of their world. This war was called the Scouring. Defeated and humbled. Dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man rebuilt and spread his... Dominion across the land and... Slow text. On to the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. And that's our intro to Fire Emblem 7, or known in America just as Fire Emblem, because this was the first uh, Fire Emblem game in the series that was released in America. And I think it was a good first choice. Alright. <laughs> so welcome, friends. This is a little series I'm going to try. Emphasis on the try, because I might fail at this. We're going to try a Fire Emblem 7 Hector Hard Mode Iron Man run. So Hector Hard Mode is the hardest difficulty that this game has to offer. There are three different stories. Lin's story is kind of the prequel tutorial. Elwood is the main story, and then Hector is kind of like the hard mode. But on top of that... There's a hard mode to Hector's story, which I have never beaten before. I got my butt kicked big time when I tried it when I was younger. So, I figured I want to beat it eventually, and there's no better time to start trying to beat it than I think right now, where I've got some time. So, what does an Iron Man run really mean? Simply put, it means no resetting allowed at all. You are not allowed to reset chapters, which means that if units die... They are gone for good. You can't reset the chapter and try to bring them back. You have to live with the consequences of your decisions. On top of which, if at any point I get a game over, that is run over. I literally will have to start a new folder in order to continue. Yeah, so there is no guarantee whether I'll actually win at this or if I will have a game over and then lose the run entirely. So that's going to make things a little more interesting, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the if I make the stakes a little higher, then it's gonna work. I think it's gonna make it a little more interesting to watch. So yeah, no resetting chapters at all, and because because of that, it does it means if some if one of my characters dies that I didn't want to die, I can't just let my lord die, have a game over, so I can reset the chapter. No, that's even worse. That means I reset everything. All right, so first up, let's see. Yeah, this is an early folder. We can delete that. No biggie. Alright, yeah, Lynn's story... So Lynn covers the prologue for Chapter 10, and then the other two stories cover through Chapter 11 to the end. So Lynn's story is basically a tutorial. We could do that first, but... Nah. If we do Lynn's story first, then honestly, you know what happens? It makes it even easier, because there are many units that we get in Lynn's story that we can level up there. And that'll help us out for Hector's story. Nope, we're gonna start directly in Hector's story for the ultimate difficulty. Hector hard mode, no Lynn's story. Oh boy. No resetting allowed. Let's go. Create a new tactician. Yes. Enter information. Yes. Okay. We need a good name. Uh. Hmm. I should have thought about this beforehand. What should we name our tactician? Uh. How about... Kevin! <laughs> Kevin's gonna do a great job, folks. Alright. Birth month actually does affect something. Your birth month will determine your affinity, so January is light. 
uh, February is ice. I think it's July. July is fire. Fire is pretty good. I think thunder is also good. I'm gonna go with July. I think fire affinity is probably for the best. Male and female does not matter. I think your affinity will can boost other characters of a certain affinity a tiny little bit, depending on how many tactician stars you have. I don't know exactly how it works. Yes, those are the settings I want to use. A month has passed since word came of Marquis Ferre's disappearance. Rumors and speculation run rampant throughout Lycia. The head of House Ostia, Lord Ufer, takes no apparent interest. The Marquis's younger brother is considered odd by the populace. He and Marquis Ferris' son, Evelwood, are fast friends. A hot-blooded youth, he cannot ignore his friend's plight. Marquis Ostia's younger brother, Hector, he would one day be a courageous general, a steel warrior to be feared. The path he chooses will test him to the limits of his strength. Okay. Quite literally, it's going to test us to our limits. Chapter 11, Another Journey. Best music, loyalty, Hector's fiend. Over in Castle Ostia. Brother! Brother! Where is he? He's here, isn't he? Lord Hector, calm yourself. No words, Oswin. Just move! That's enough, Hector. What's the meaning of this? You know full well! The disappearance of Marquis Ferre! Discussed this time and time again. This matter is none of Ostia's affair. We have no reason to involve ourselves. It would be folly to do so. Elwood's father is missing, for goodness sake! We know that Marquis Laos is connected in some way. I say we use Ostia's might to end this mystery and find the truth. Calm yourself, you fool. An invasion would be madness. Lysia can ill afford the chaos of such an action as that would, it would bring. Surely even you must understand that. Bah! I understand all too well, brother. Stay there on your throne. Sit there until it rots beneath you. I will do this alone. Lord Hector, you should watch your tone. Peace, Oswin. Let him go. There's no reasoning with him when he gets like this. Matthew! Matthew! Blast it, where could he be? I'm right here. You. You're not a wraith. Stop skulking in the shadows like one. Hmm? A wraith? And <laughs> here I thought I was a spy. Be that as it may. As my lord ordered, here are your travel rations and your beloved axe. And I've purchased the silence of some royal guardsmen. You're free to slip out of the rear entrance and vanish. Well done, Matthew. Try not to let my brother discover my absence too quickly. What? I thought I was going with you. You're a bigger fool than I'd imagined! Did you think I would trust my brother's spy? Who knows when you would turn me in for some favor? Where I go, I go alone. Shh! You keep on shouting and you'll go nowhere. Every guard in the palace must have heard that. Enough! Do not try to follow me! I did not imagine you would find me so untrustworthy. Professional hazard, it seems. <laughs> Watch yourself, young master. Man, Matthew can teleport. Huh? He... He gave up too easily. I don't trust him. The time has come. I've got to get out of here and rendezvous with Elwood. These bags! What did Matthew put in these fiends? This is ridiculous even if he was packing for two. Huh? Come out. I know you're there. He can teleport too. Oh, he looks friendly. Who are you? Too dumb to speak? Makes no difference to me. Move out of my way or I'll run you through. Ha! Whoa! B my lord, stay your arm. It's me. Who, Matthew? I was sure you were one of them. He's a blue unit, you couldn't tell? Well, I'm not! I'm one of me! And I would prefer to remain in one piece. Your fault for jumping out of nowhere. Now tell me, what are you doing here? Hmm? I, I sensed that something was wrong and... came to your aid. 
my aid. I'll accept that answer for the time being. So what should we do? About what? About the fellows between us and the way out. I'd say there are seven or eight of them. To make matters worse, they seem highly competent. This is hard mode, after all. I know you're quite confident in your martial abilities, but I'm not the strongest sword arm around, and well... If you have something to say, Matthew, then say it. We could abandon the rear entrance. I'm sure the Royal Guardsmen would be happy to aid us, and... NEVER! That's what I thought you'd say. All that's left is to avoid getting killed, right? You can go back if you want. In your own words, my lord, never. I'm with you wherever that may lead. Right, then let's give him a good thrashing and get out of here. Alright, now the run truly begins. So first we're going to set our options, we're going to set combat animation to 2, game speed fast, tech speed fast, terrain on, yes, 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 show objective, yes, this is all fine, yes, window color, we're going to go with the dark purple, that matches the hard of mode for Hector. Alright. Yeah. So the enemies should be reasonably easy, but they still will be able to hit us for a good amount, especially those knights. And here's the boss, Wire. Oh, he only has free speed. That's hilarious. Alright. We're gonna leave the door for now. We'll let the enemy thieves open the door. And thankfully, Hector, star Hector starts with a hand axe in this mode. Alright. How does Matthew Ferry... <sighs> Not too well. Alright, uh, Hector, don't miss. Very nice. Alright, so far so good. We gotta get to the boss, though. Alright, where's the enemy thief? The enemy thief is there, He's he can't open the door, okay. That's good. In that case, I'll have Matthew attack the, uh, the archer. There we go. I think we need to prioritize killing the enemies, although that red, there, that chest does have a red gem in it, which we kind of are going to want. I don't like that 1% critical. I think we're going to see a lot of low percentage criticals in this mode. Alright. Now I have to decide if... On the next turn, the thief is going to open the door, then he's going to open the chest. So unless I open the door this turn, he will pull for the chest, and he might be difficult to take out. And I don't really want that, so I'm going to open the door with Matthew, and we'll see if Hector can... Dis I don't like those low odds, particularly. Okay... Mm. The Wolf Bale's kind of valuable, I don't really want to waste it, but eh, I'll try. There we go! The Wolf Bale's a pretty good axe that we're going to want for some of the early game bosses, so I don't want to waste it. Ooh, and we get a Vulnerary. Nice. Okay, Hector, you've... Do we only have one Satchel of Vulner We do only have one Satchel of Vulneraries. That is kind of a shame. Alright, um, does he, do you have a Javelin? No, you have an Iron Lance. Oh, and you have Vulneraries that you drop. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Alright, you can wait... That thief is not going to take out Matthew, so Matthew is going to use that vulnerary. I do not want Matthew to die. That would be absolutely terrible if he died. Alright, yeah, you can hit Hector. I have no problem with that. Wolf Bale time, Sonny. Ooh, and we double with the Wolf Bale. Yeah, those, those armor knights we're going to want to take out. Ooh, level up for Hector. Please get speed. Alright, yeah, at least you got strength. I kind of want Hector to get speed early on. That would be very nice. Alright, yeah, Thief's AI prioritizes unlocking the nearest thing he can reach. So in this case, that's the door. Alright, okay. You have an Iron Lance, you have a bow, and you have an Iron Lance. Okay. You've got 13 attack. How much did you have? 8 defense. Okay, archers deal 5 damage to Hector. These guys deal... Uh, they do 13, they not okay. That's a little unfortunate. So, with the hand axe... Okay, yeah. Well, Hector doubles them. I actually don't really like that. Hmm. I'm gonna vulnerary up Hector, but I wanna, I wanna put him in a place where he can't get attacked by three units. Because that will kill, that will finish him off, potentially. 
All right, uh, Matthew, you're gonna back up a little bit. Matthew, go over towards this door. Actually, wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, Matthew, back up a little bit. I'm gonna put you right there so you can help out Hector if, you, if you, he needs it. All right, uh, you can move one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna move Hector back here with the hand axe equipped, and he's gonna use a vulnerary. He'll retaliate against the archer, and then we can hopefully make quick work of those soldiers. Oh wait, never mind. They're gonna block the way for the archer. Cool. Okay, Matthew, steal that guy's lockpick. <laughs> It's free EXP, and I think at this point, Matthew and the Thief will just steal each other's lockpicks over and over again until Matthew levels up speed, because Thieves can steal from other units that have the same speed as them, or less speed, so right now they have the same speed, so they can steal from each other, but as soon as Matthew levels speed, which he probably will pretty shortly, then he'll be good. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hand axe. Darn it. Actually, that was a... That was a big mistake. Why did I do... Oh, Hector's dead, I think. Oh, no, he's not, because the soldiers move first. Stop dodging. Sure enough, lockpick was stolen. Okay. Well, Hector is now in a position where he's only going to get attacked by that one archer. So if that's the case... If I do, I don't want to kill one of the soldiers. I'm gonna keep attacking this archer. Stop, on it! Stop missing! Give me that lockpick back, buddy. All right, well. There we go. Good grief. Hector can take another attack, so once again, we're going to attack this archer. <sighs> this is not good. Give me that lockpick. Oh, shoot! Okay, it's, it's actually a good thing that Hector missed there, because otherwise the other archer would have been able to kill him. That was really stupid of me. All right. I can't keep this up forever. I'm running out of warriors. He keeps missing with the hand axe. He has more than a 50% chance to hit, and he's only hit once. He has literally missed with that five times. Please at least hit this guy. Thank you. And now we can wolf bail that guy to finish him off. Alright. I'm gonna keep stealing this, because it's free EXP for Matthew. Also, I'm not trying to get the best rank for this by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just trying to win. Wait, shoot, I did the same thing again! <laughs> as soon as Matthew levels speed, we can stop this. Oh, that's not good. Oh, thank you for dodging, Hector. Okay, good. That's one soldier down. But I might have died. I might be dead. I did not think the soldiers could reach. Okay, oh, thank you, Hector. Thank you for dodging these. Okay, good. We're, we're, we're alive. Even if both of these archers hit him, he's, he's alive. Still no speed. At, le at least these are these are still pretty decent level ups. At least he's getting strength every time. Thank you! Okay, now the hand axe is hitting. That extra point of skill definitely matters. I'm 
Nice. Oh! We can have Matthew finish him off. You know what? If, he's, if, he, if that thief really wants one of those lockpicks, fine. This, but this is EXP for Matthew. Well, we've burned through, like, almost all of our vulneraries, which sucks. Oh, shoot. I have not been keeping track of if there are enemies that have vulneraries to steal. Okay, Matthew got an extra point of speed. He can't be stolen from. Yeah, I haven't been checking if the enemies have stealable items. Okay, that guy has a stealable vulnerary. I kind of want to take advantage of that. Oh, and Wire has a stealable vulnerary, too. Sweet. Okay. In that case, I can quaff one of these. My hand axe is almost broken. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, now the thief is going to rush over towards this chest, but we're going to get to it first. Red gem. Very nice. Tree chic. Alright. We'll take the long way around. Sweet. Actually, wait. If I... St I am actually not going to steal his lockpick. That is not something I'm going to do. And the reason for that is I kind of want that thief to go and run and open the doors. Because the, the thief's AI is that he's going to run it until all the doors are unlocked, and then I think he's going to try to run away. I don't think he's actually going to go out of his way to attack any of us. Yep. So in this case, Matthew could just continue whittling away at his HP, and eventually we'll kill him. Wow. <laughs> the battle of the guys who don't actually hit each other. Yeah, Matthew is one of those units who, if you play a wind story, you can level up there. Which is very nice to do, given that he's one of the first two units that you get. Alright, at this point, we're gonna steal his lockpick. You are not- you're not getting away with stealing my vulnerabilities. So now the thief might go into attack mode. Potentially. I'm kinda curious. Like, if we- if we hang out down here, what's the thief gonna do? Oh, he's gonna attack- oh, he's attacking Matthew on the pillar, that's actually bad. Pillar gives a lot of extra avoid. Alright. We'll lure you off the pillar. <laughs> this is a very fast chapter. Again, I have I do not care about turn count whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. I'm just here to, to do everything I can to survive. There we go! Alright, sweet. Matthew, please, please get some better survivability. At least, at least you got strength. I would have preferred speed and maybe defense, though. Uh, but I know that's asking a lot. Okay, let's see. How much HP do you have? You have 14. This guy is 12. Okay, yeah. You, you can take a hit from the archer. Alright, now how do I want to do this? Matthew's the one with the vulnerable. Okay. Better idea. I have Hector go up here. I I'm gonna use the wolf bail some more. Really? I s okay, does hard mode change the hit rates? Like, it'll display one hit rate, but it's something completely different? Because it sure feels like it. Shoot. Okay. We're gonna give Hector that vulnerary. And we're gonna steal this vulnerary from this doofus. This doofus McDoofus. Alright. Let's try this again. I have missed so many decently high hit rates, it's not even funny. Granted, it saved my life twice doing that. You ain't you ain't killing Matthew. That's not happening. Alright. Hector's level 3, Matthew is level 4. 
Hector's gonna kill the boss, though, so let's see if Matthew can... Oh, Matthew doubles this guy now. Sweet. I want to make sure my Matthew has good survivability, because he is the only thief that we get for a good portion of the game, and thieves are extremely important. Alright, Hector, you are going to quaff that last vulnerary, because you're going to need it for the boss. Wire means business. Wire has, like, a steel lance. No, only an iron lance. Sweet. Okay. Here, Hector, have another set of vulnerabilities. OBS. It is a Game Boy Advance game. How can you not handle running it? Are, are you serious? Well, we're back online now. Anyhow, we're getting ready to fight the boss. But first, we're going to steal his vulnerabilities. Now, as long as I don't screw this up... We are going to rescue Matthew, not attack the boss. There we go. Goody. Alright. Now we're going to wolf bail the boss. You're not Marquis Louse's assassins, are you? You're too good. Too professional. Nothing like those idiots over there. You've no need to know, little Lord Hector. A fool like you sneaking out of the country alone. You'll go missing never to return. Your body will never be found. Tidy story, eh? <laughs> Looks like your luck's run out. Our luck? What are you? You see, I'm about as angry as I've ever been. I doubt that even a dozen of you could slow me down. Prepare to die! Oh, it would have been great if he got a critical hit there. Yeah, the wolf bale deals insane damage against armored units. And mounted units. And we'll leave Hector and Matthew next to each other for the support bonus. Even though they don't have a support yet. See, he lands the 60% no problem! F-f- forgive me, Lord Nurgle. Alright, well that first level was a lot tougher than I was expecting, but we did it. Come on, good level up. Yeah, that's a good level- oh, that's a great level up. Strength, defense, and speed. Those are like the three best stats that Hector can get. <sighs> That was close. Glad we're both alright. Glad we survived, even though the tactician made, like, five dumb mistakes. Come, my lord. We must fly. The castle guard must have heard all the noise. Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was all going to happen, didn't you? What else could I do? Those assassins wouldn't show themselves until you were alone. I suppose. Mark my words, Matthew. You're coming with me. But from this point forward, you are no longer my brother's spy. You are my man now, to the bitter end. Yes, my lord! Shall I swear a knightly vow? To what purpose? Your own words will hold, will hold you well enough. True enough? Let us go, then! To Elwood. Oh, my lord! Marquis, it's Lord Hector! He's... He's gone, isn't he? Y yes my lord! Uh, we are gathering men now to give chase. Attend me. We will let him go. My lord? Uh, headstrong, young fool. <coughs> Lord Ufer, are you well? I'm fine. It has passed. There is no need for concern. You must not rely so much on physical strength alone, said the, the tank. It has been most trying these past few weeks. The affairs of the court have not let you sleep. You might endanger your health if you keep on. Yes, Oswin, I understand. I will speak with his physician on the morrow. Will that allay your fears? Yes, my lord. I shall make the arrangements. Oswin, about Hector. I can entrust him to you, yes? <laughs> of course, my lord. I will guard him with my very life's blood. And Oswin's going to be a useful unit. All right, no casualties on the first chapter. I approve. Let's go on to Birds of a Feather. Hector leaves Ostia. He moves towards Santarus to meet up with Elwood as quickly as possible. He encounters a mysterious group whose dark garb hide an even darker secret. Perhaps these same powers have turned their blades on Elwood. Hector hurries south, praying for his friend's safety. Birds of a feather. It's the Star Fox music. Lord Hector! I have it! I know where Lord Elwood is. He entered Santarus not far from here. Is that so? We've read his movements fairly well, then. Let's move due south and cross the border. We'll meet up with him in Santarus. Ah, 
there you are, Lord Hector! Oh no. Sarah? W what What are you doing here? You're going to meet Lord Ellawood, right? Well, I want to go too. Go home! This is no game! Actually, it is. <laughs> but Oswin told me it was alright to come. Oswin? Yes, my lord. On the Marquis's orders. Sarah and I will be accompanying you. Actually, Sarah's probably more useful than Oswin, because Sarah is a healer. <laughs> bah! This is ridiculous. Always have to be the last have the last word, eh, brother? No matter what you think, he's just worried about you, Lord Hector. You're the only family he has. I know. Uh, Lord Hector! Up ahead! There appears to be fighting. Where? Is it Elwood? Come, let's get closer! Hurry! Oswin! Matthew! Yes, my lord. Oh, wait for me! I'm coming too! Hey, what's going on over there? Looks like some rough business. You, soldier, are you just going to stand there and watch? Who do you think you are? This is Santarus. What occurs here is no affair of any foreign, foreign lordly. I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. You see, the man they're attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? Ugh. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Ew! That's terrible! I love violence! We're going to war. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Elwood. Help Elwood? Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin? Yes, yes, I'm coming. Matthew, bring Sarah and follow along. What? With Sarah? No, I want to go with you now. Absolutely not. You'll slow us down, but Oswin won't? <laughs> oh, how rude. Oswin, let's go. Oswin's the one of only four movement. Oh, that's right. This version of the level has Pegasus Knights. Let's take them out as quickly as we can, shall we? Wow, we can't even double them? Wow, we can't even kill them? What is this crap? We have to take out that Pegasus Knight pretty quickly, though. And then we have Elwood's crew! There's Elwood, he kinda sucks. There's Rebecca, she kinda sucks. There's Lowen, he's good. There's Bartray, he can be good. There's Dorcas, he's absolute garbage. And there's Marcus! I am gonna have to break my cardinal rule of Fire Emblem and actually use Marcus, aren't I? Well, Marcus, you're gonna go and visit this village. Oh, I... Just give me the book, old man. Secret book. Increases skill. I might need to use that on Hector. <laughs> or one of my axe fighters, because axes are kind of inaccurate. Alright. Pegasus Knight is our first priority. I can't believe I don't just kill the Pegasus Knights outright, though. Good! Thank you for hitting with your hand axe. I'm also going to need to sell that red gem to the store and buy some weapons. Hector has a vulnerary. Oswin don't need no vulnerary. Okay, Matthew. Go down to the forest. Hopefully you'll be kind of hard to hit there. Sarah, you go down to this forest. Alright, now we go to the Elwood crew. Alright, Pegasus Knight. We can lure you out. Uh, do I have... I'm gonna have to put a Dorcas on the fort, aren't I? That's not a bad idea, honestly. Oh, Dorcas has an Iron Axe, not a Steel Axe, but he lacks the Energy Ring. Darn it! Why does Dorcas not have an Energy Ring this time? Alright. No, I don't want to rescue. I'm gonna use my sword. Oh, would you can bring up the rear. Also, the boss is kind of frightening on this map. I'm not gonna lie. He actually moves towards you, which is a rarity for the bosses early on in the game, or just in the game in general. And he packs a punch. Oh, that guy can... I did not know that guy could reach Sarah. Well, good thing I put her in the forest. Alright, cool. Hector's making short work of these Pegasus Knights along with Oswin. I like that. Alright, they're going after Bart Ray. I approve. Oh, wow! What a crit! <laughs> Bart Ray's like, you're gonna be using Bart Ray this time, right? I might? 
Bart Ray's starting speed is really bad, but his speed growth is quite a bit higher than Dorcas's, so I think Dorcas I think Bart Ray is definitely a better fighter in the long run. Really, Hector? Oh, man. Ooh, this looks dangerous. Wow, these guys are powerful in this mode. There's also a lot of them. Oh, you can attack Matthew, eh? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, we gotta take out that Pegasus Knight, no question. Let's move Hector over on here. He'll be safer on the mountains. But we have to take out that Pegasus Knight. No two ways about it, otherwise I can reach Matthew and Sarah. Okay, how about this one? Okay, the other two will be attacking Oswin and Hector. Sweet. Okay. In that case, let's start attacking... Okay, well, we also gotta be careful that Zagon is going to be approaching. I'm also a little worried about Hector's... Well, I'm more worried about that guy. Let's let's attack with Oswin. Alright, nice hit, nice hit. I'm not worried about Oswin dying at all. He's he's a tank. Oswin is like low-key the best knight in the in the series. He, he starts at a high enough level that he, he has amazing survivability, but his starting speed is low enough that he's not going to double anything, and thus he it sets he's the perfect guy to set up chaos. Alright. Good job, Matthew. Way to be, bro. Alright, now I gotta make a decision, though. First of all, can I have... No. Sarah's gonna be in harm's way no matter what, so I'm gonna just keep her on the forest and hope she dodges at least one of those attacks. It would suck to lose Sarah this soon, but, you know, we, we might have... That might be a sacrifice that has to happen. Alright. We at least get Priscilla in, in a couple chapters, but losing your healer early on is not good. She's in a force, though, so hopefully she can dodge stuff. Alright. Darn it, Elwood, really? I don't want to get the kill with Dorcas. But at the same time, Bart Ray, I don't have... I don't have faith that Bart Ray will survive, so... Yep, I think Dorcas is gonna have to get this job done. I'm gonna put Lowen on the fort so he can heal up. Actually, I think only Elwood, yeah, only Elwood starts with more areas. Second thought, I'm gonna put. Hmm. Okay, how many people can re. Like, literally everybody. Okay. Well, I'm not putting Elwood there then. Plop low and uh, hang on. How much? Okay, Elwood is 18 HP and five defense, so he'll take eight damage from that. Okay, yeah, Elwood will survive. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna plop Lowen on this fort over here and have him use a vulnerary. And I just realized that every enemy can attack him now. Well, he's at least tanky. Oof, yeah, I'm not doing. That's suicide! Okay, good. I'm, a I'm glad that they're going after Elwin, honestly. I'm glad that not everybody went after Lowen. Okay, good job, Lowen. Lowen's pretty dependable. He, he He's kind of one of the saving graces for early game. Okay, don't hit. That's bad. Okay, Sarah, I think, is screwed. Doggone it, I didn't think that guy could attack Sarah at the beginning. Yeah, I think Sarah's dead. I, there, I don't think she's gonna dodge an arrow. But then again, it could happen. But I'm pretty sure she's dead. I do not care if there are two important updates to install, though. I do not care at all. Alright, nice job, Hector. Okay, Hector and Oswin are... Terran House. Lowen's doing great. Come on.
come on. They're they're waiting to move that archer to for the very end just to just to take away my hopes and dreams. It's very hard for Sarah to survive this chapter if you don't level her up and win the story a little. <laughs> it's like the Spider-Man meme! They both have hand axes with 22% chances to hit. Oh yes, please attack Rebecca. Really? Yeah, she's dead. Goodbye, Sarah. Why me? This is so annoying. It is annoying, because I swear that brigand could not hit you and at the beginning. Oh, that's bad. Lost my healer. Guess we're going to be buying vulneraries, folks. All right, well, Matthew, just finish off this guy. At least Sarah didn't have anything valuable. I think she literally just had her heal staff. Skill speed defense! Nice job, Matthew. Alright, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Alright. That's a little chance of hitting. Um... We're gonna have Oswin finish off the Pegasus Knight. I don't... I don't like using Oswin to finish people off, because he's kind of an experienced hog. Yeah, he only got 10 experience points. But I think... I think Hector's gonna need to heal this turn. His HP is just a little too low for my good All Alright. Wow, do you see how bad Rebecca is? She can't even one-shot a Pegasus Knight with her bow. That's how bad she is. First of all, can Lowen finish it? No, there's... Lowen can't finish these guys off. That sucks. What if... Dor Dorcas also can't one... Do you see how bad these guys are at the beginning? Bart Ray can, but Bart Ray's also gonna 100% die if he does that. No, I think I think I have to do this. If Bart Ray dies, I'm not going to be crying, by the way. <laughs> he's not the best unit in the game. But he's also not the worst unit in the game. Still can do nothing. Okay. Way to go, Rebecca! Rah, rah. Alright, we gotta rescue Rebecca or else she she dead. Alright, now what's the play here? This archer is kind of super annoying. So you can deal Doggone it! It's always your one damage point away. I hate that. Alright. I think. We're gonna do this with Dorcas. Dorcas can weaken him. Lowen can't even finish him off? Or I guess if he uses his lance, he can. Actually, that could be... That's actually not a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think I like this idea. Okay. With, you, with your lance, please hit. Thank you. Okay, good. Lowen can finish him off with the lance. The mercenary... Uh, he's gonna attack him. Okay. These two losers. Are they? Why does that? Why do the enemies have better movement than I thought they did? Okay. And now for the finishing touch, we are going to swap your weapons so you have better survivability chances. And I hope that nobody else dies. Zagon's on the move now. Okay. Thank you for dodging, Hellwood. I appreciate it. I do not care if the rapier breaks, it's not that great of a weapon. And then you're gonna attack Bart Ray. Cool. Oh wait, he might double Bart Ray. Oh he doesn't, okay. <laughs> Bart Ray only has four starting speed, I think, so he's not particularly great. 
All right, Zagon is coming, though, so we got to do something about that. Gonna have to do something about that, Masked Bear. All right. Matthew, can you double... You, Matthew, you cannot do it. can you? All right. Please hit this. Thank you. Alright, our hand axe is about to break, but we gotta take out that pegot. Are you serious? Am I just having the crappiest luck in the history of crappy luck? Well, like, really, I've missed so many really high percent chance to hit. Alright, I guess we'll have him weaken the archer, because if he moves out of reach of that, uh, he's gonna be in danger. Okay. Back to this group. Alright. Barry can't finish the job. We might have we might need Marcus to finish that guy off. Alright. Elwood needs a level, so. Okay, let's have Lowen finish off the, the mercenary. Good. Let's have Elwood finish off this guy. And actually... One thing we could do... Well, hang on. We gotta move Bart Ray to safety. Oh, yes. We'll take Rebecca. And then we're gonna drop her off here. She's out of reach. Good. Okay. He has 15 attack, but Elwood has enough defense to survive, so actually, I think I'm going to try to let Elwood get that, that kill as well. Dorcas, you're, you're, you are needed up top. One, two, three, four. Okay, Marcus, you're going to need to stay there just to protect Bart Ray from death. That was weird. Why did the Pegasus... Oh, Pegasus Knight's in retreat mode, that's why. Ooh, what a crit! Will we get Ella good this playthrough? Normally he's just kind of okay, but maybe he could be good. That bandit is being exceptionally obnoxious. Also, that Pegasus Knight just retreated so that she can kill Matthew on this turn. I think Matthew has vulnerabilities, though. Actually, joke's on you! We've got Dorcas. Who would have thought Dorcas could actually be... You know what? Dorcas is actually pretty useful for hard mode. He's absolutely crappy in regular mode, but for hard mode, he's actually decent. Okay, how much... You can't move far. Okay. Good. I'm gonna keep the jab one equipped, and let's see. You can reach not quite to the house. Sweet. I'm gonna heal just in case some stupid thing happens then. It's like, oh, the archer can actually move a little farther than we thought anyways. Yay! Elwood's gonna stay here to heal up. Lowen's... Let's see. Rebecca's gonna just keep out of harm's way in the meantime. Alright. Oh, wait. Matthew has the red gem. Oh. Whoops. Let's move our guys up. I think we might be needing Marcus to help take out that boss. Wow! Okay. At least I hit a 37. I missed, like, 9 70s and 80s, but I, I hit one of these. Oh, Oswin. Oh, thank you for missing, actually, Oswin. We'll give the experience points for that kill to someone more deserving. Okay. Matthew can't quite reach the armory, which is unfortunate. Who has the least... Uh, oh, Hector doesn't have a whole... Yeah, okay. Hector, take the red gem. Alright, we are going to sell the red gem, because we desperately need money. 
Now we're going to buy an Iron Axe for Hector. And an Iron, uh, iron Sword for Elwood. And that should be all we need. And I think we'll spend the rest on Vulneraries. <laughs> Bart, right, go to that vendor and buy some Vulneraries for us. How much attack does this guy? He has 24 attack. Bowen has 7 defense, 8. Oh, wait, Bowen can't go on the mountain. Because he's a horse. Huh, okay. Here's what I'm thinking, folks. I'm gonna have Marcus rescue Rebecca. And because he rescued Rebecca, his speed should be lowered enough that he will not double. Zagon, but he'll be able to take out a good chunk of damage. That's that's what I'm thinking. Curses! What are you waiting for? Let me show you boys how it's done. Yeah, he can deal that much damage to Marcus. Again, I'm breaking my cardinal rule of actually using Marcus. I am normally a proud proponent of never using Marcus in combat if you can help it, but... Hard mode, you take what you can get. It would be great if we could give the kill to Elwood. Actually, we might just... Wait. Hang on. Where can the archer... Okay, archer can reach down here. Like, if we do this and equip the Hand Axe with Dorcas, will the Archer attack there? Okay, Bart Ray. Bart Ray, we're gonna need some Vulneraries. Because, um, some stupid tactician let Sarah die. Okay, hang on. Just double check. Okay, we can go right next to Elwood. Talk! Elwood! Are you alright? Hector! What are you. Later! First, let's get, take care of these louts. Right. Okay. Wow. All my guys are damaged. This. Oh, I can't believe I let Sarah die. I actually can. Sarah's. Sarah's very easy to accidentally let die. <laughs> All right, sweet. Good job. All right. Good. Good job, Marcus. Nope. Archer's still going for Marcus. Honestly, this is how you should use Marcus, though. To just chip away at the enemies. Alright. I don't want to give the kill to Dorcas. But the thing is... Elwood doesn't have the strength to take this guy out. He only has 12 attack, and this guy has 7 defense, so... We kind of need to hit... Actually, maybe we can tag-team him with Lowen and... Okay, yeah, maybe we can do that. Okay. Okay, please hit. How much defense does he have? Okay. Please hit. Dog, flippin' gone it! Are you seriously gonna make me use Marcus to kill that freaking archer? So is it gonna make me use Marcus to kill that stupid archer? Wow. Actually, even if I do that, that's not gonna matter, is it? I don't wanna kill Zagon with Marcus. He's also standing on a forest. Okay, hang on. I gotta think about this. Take a big risk. We gotta kill this stupid guy with Marcus. Thank you for hitting. Good grief. Alright. He's gone. Here's what I'm planning. He has one HP left. Cool. Okay, good. 
Oh, nice dodge, Lowen. Nice. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Decent level up. That's a good level up. Anytime Lowen levels up speed, that's a good level up. Okay. Now. Rescue Lowen with Dorcas. Elwood goes on here. Gets the finishing blow. Yes! Oh, ah! This was not so easy as it seemed. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I, if if anybody had missed there, that would have been bad. <laughs> Nearly perfect. Okay, we, we got Ella good this boy for boys. <laughs> Whew, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well met, Ellawood. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me. How do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? brother was just named Marquis Ostia. He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Ufer must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother's not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but he knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well, then it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Elwood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well? <laughs> yes, Lord Ufer was worried about Lord Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course! Good to have you with us. I apologize for the interruption. Lord Oswin called for me. Is he with you, Hector? Yes, this is Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord. Sneaking around. Well, uh, he, uh, he gathers information, opens doors, chests, and such. Very talented fellow. That sounds like a thief's work. Well, uh, don't let it worry you. But, listen, I suspect this journey will be harder than you imagine. It is hard mode, after all. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. Uh, yeah, it's a story. We, we know the story. We're in, on In Search of Truth. Hey, Hector, weren't there, um, three people traveling with you? Nope, just two. <laughs> yeah, I think we can skip the story from now on. Just get to the gameplay, get to the good part. All right, here we are at Castle Santarus, and we're up against big boys. He is a big boy. Oh my gosh, he only has four speed, though. <laughs> wow. And we've also got Guy. And also, Guy is normally a kind of crappy unit, or just kind of a med unit, but on Hector mode, he gets boosted bases. Or at hard mode, he gets boosted bases, so I actually might use him. We need Matthew to recruit him, so, alright. Also, Bart Ray's got vulneraries for people already. Uh, uh, you have vulneraries? I think Elwood's gonna need vulneraries. Marcus don't need no vulneraries. Alright. Oh, man. Why, why, why are there all these Pegasus Knights in the early, in the er, like, early levels for Hector Mode? Alright. Bart Ray, hang out in this forest to draw the, that Pegasus Knight. Actually, before you do that... Let's make sure everybody who needs vulneraries has vulneraries. Actually, we have a lot of people who have vulneraries. And I guess Bart Ray, you yourself could use some vulneraries. Alright, there we go. Let's keep Dorcas with him to get the Dorcas Bart Ray support. That might be useful. I also don't know if I want to accept the side quest, because the side quest is going to be pretty tough. It's a Fog of War level, and it's on hard mode, so... Yeah. Alright. How far can the peg knights go? Oh, sweet. Okay, we're gonna plop him. We can't plop Matthew on the mountains. That's a shame. Let's plop Matthew over there, then. I think we're just gonna send pretty much all of our guys to the right. Oh, oh. We gotta get the Hector Elwood support. That one is pretty darn important, actually. And then Lowen, uh, Lowen Marcus support, maybe? Sick dodge, Matthew. Sick dodge. Also, we are not going to use Rebecca, but we can use P Rebecca to potentially weaken enemies for us. By, like, two points of damage, because she's an absolute weakling. Nice job, Bart Ray. Actually, no, again, I'm not using Rebecca, so I'm not going to get the finishing blow with her, but... Hmm. 
We'll let Matthew get the KO. Nice crit! Critical hit for the win. Yeah, it's time. It's Lance time, Woody. Don't like that 1% critical, though. Yeah, I'm not attacking with Marcus. Not happening. How far can Hector go? He can't even, even if he had a hand axe, he can't do nothing. Talk on it. Alright, well, Bart Rage, finish, finish the job. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Yeah, this, this is my favorite Fire Emblem game. I've... Oh, man, Bart Ray only starts with free speed, not even four? Oh, he's even worse than I remember. Okay. But he leveled the speed, which Dorcas never does, so we good. All right. Um, again, I don't even know if I want to go to that village, so I'm just going to send everybody this way. It's probably going to be safer. Yeah, so remember, Iron Man means no resetting, period. <laughs> which means, yeah, Sarah died last chapter, which uh, was not good. Alright. Also, Hellwood needs his sword. Actually, no. We're gonna, we're gonna keep them next to each other. Try to build that support. Uh-oh, wait. No. Not my Matthew. Not my Matthew. Uh, now one one archer is not going to be enough to be able to kill him. Okay, Matthew Matthew should be safe. I should probably be more worried about uh, Lowen actually. <laughs> Wait, what? <gasps> he just had to be lugging a steel boat, didn't he? Well, thank goodness he dodged. If if Matthew died, that would have basically been run over. <laughs> He's my only thief, and I need him to recruit Guy. All right. Well, guess we're getting a kill with Rebecca. <laughs> Not good. All right. This this looks like a job. Wow. Really, Oswin? You go and you go and repair your wounds there, Matthew. Yeah, Sarah is the healer girl, and she died last chapter. Because I thought an enemy couldn't reach her, and they could. And yeah, that's what happened. Weaken him with Oswin, Elwood finishes it off. This is the third chapter of Hector's story. Which means it's the, um, chapter 13 in terms of the overall game chapters. Because we skipped out on Lynn's story. Alright, Elwood. Alright, that was a less good level up compared to your last one. That's more of your classic Elwood level up. Alright, let's, let's take out this stupid horse. Man, I do not remember there being Pegasus Knights on these chapters. But I guess there are. Oh, wow. Lowen, you, you badly bandaged, boy. Lowen, Lowen, uh... Actually, wait, is there a forest? Oh, he's in the forest. Lowen, we're gonna have you equip your sword and use a vulnerary. There you go. Maybe Marcus to pull some enemies. But we don't want him to pull, like, enemy. Okay. These guys are all long range. So, yeah, Marcus can pull those guys. No problem. I just don't want to pull Guy. That would be a mistake. Ah, oh, Dorcas had his Iron Axe equipped. Oh, should have had his, his two... Oh no! The villagers attacked! That's okay, there was only a mine in there anyways. 
and I'm not going to be using the mind glitch, so it's kind of a sucky item anyways. Gosh, Rebecca, you are so weak. You can't even one-shot Pegasus Knights with your bow. And they are literally weak to those. That's okay, Bart Ray can finish the job. <laughs> I low-key kind of want to use Bart Ray. If we use Bart Ray, we can get Carla, and it's great to get Carla because she sucks. Oh, hey, you can actually reach Rebecca. That's not good. You've got six speed. Yeah, you can't double her, so she'll be fine. Give me that hand axe back. I want it. Oh, great! Yay! Hector missed with his hand axe for like the 20th time. But he ranked up in axes. Literally, Hector missed like 10 60% chance hits with a hand axe, like in a row. It was not even funny. People, okay, <laughs> you can. Marcus is one of those units where no matter what you say about him, you're gonna anger about half the community, because he's either revered as like one of the best units of all. Wow, that was a good level up for Matthew. Or he's reviewed as kind of meh. I, in my personal opinion, I think Marcus has some very good uses early game, but his growths just aren't good enough to really make him useful throughout the later game. But he's definitely good early on, at the very least, for distracting enemies and being a living wall. And weakening enemies if you rescue a unit with them. Alright. Time to finish the job. I'm hoping to get an L good <laughs> this story. For the in my in my experience, most of the lords in this game, like Elwood and Lynn tend to be kinda suck, and then Hector ends up being really good. I would like to see a good Elwood or a good Lynn. It can happen. I have heard it can happen. I still have to be careful with Lowen, because he's not full on HP. But he and Marcus can build support points, that's fine. You're not hitting Lowen with a hand axe when he has a sword equipped in the woods. One thing I'm noticing is that you do not double enemies in, the, in hard mode, like, at all. Only Matthew does, and Matthew's overall attack power is low enough that it doesn't even particularly matter. Oh, yeah! Reinforcements. That's a thing. Okay, well... <laughs> Bartry, Bartry, get your butt down here. We need a hero, and you're it. <laughs> or rather, you're the best we have. I personally view Marcus as just being a worse version of Oswin, because unlike... Marcus and Oswin kind of perform the same ability where they can weaken enemies that your weaker units can finish off. But the difference here is that uh, Oswin can actually be pretty good even in the late game if you continue to level him up, whereas uh, Marcus, not so much. Okay, If I put Moe in there, how many enemies can reach him? Kind of a lot, but Brigand ain't gonna hit him, so he should be okay. Because this game uses 2RN for hit rate, a 10% hit is actually more like a 5% hit. Hmm. Oh, nice crit, Hector! I wasn't even hoping for that, but nice job. All right, Hector, let's make you some. Let's make you tankier. There we go. Oh my gosh, you got resistance. <laughs> Sweet. All right, uh, Archer is very low. Yeah, we're giving that. We're giving that to El Elagood. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Actually, Elagood probably needs to heal. All right, we'll give it to Matthew then. Have I played Lemmings 3? I have not. The only official Lemmings games that I've played were the original Oh No More Lemmings and then Lemmings Revolution. 
I never played Lemmings 2 or Lemmings 3, but I have I've played a lot of Lemmings fan packs, though. Alright, Elwood, let's see. Elwood, we're gonna put... Oh my gosh, he can support Hector already. Alright, um... We kinda need to heal him, though. Uh, no, we'll support... <sighs> One of them can support next turn. We really do need to heal him, though, because... If Elwood dies, that's run over! Oh, yeah, uh... Dorcas, do you build a support with Barbray? And... I feel like... Okay, next turn, Marcus is rescuing Rebecca so that he can actually weaken enemies. I feel like that's gonna be Rebecca at her best, is just being literal... literal dead weight for Marcus. Yeah, the Lemmings community prefers the uh, puzzle levels to, like, action or execution levels, which makes sense. Most people use the rescue ability to rescue uh, guys that are in danger. I use rescue to slow down Marcus so he can actually attack enemies without killing them. Uh, without killing them. Okay, this is where fins are going to get difficult. Marcus is going to the front lines. Elwood is going to... Let's see. Okay. We need our wall. We need the walls. <laughs> Oswin plus Marcus equals portable wall. Alright, here we go. I kind of want to support Elwood and Hector together. To make them... Because I know that, that def uh, their support boosts Elwood's attack, which is great. I think it boosts something from Hector as well. Okay, Elwood needs to pull back. Because I do not want him to die. Okay, all these guys are Lance users, so we'll equip the Lance and we'll use our last Vulnerary. Actually, we, we might just pull back with everybody. I actually think that's the best strategy. I think we're going to pull back with everybody. And just let our wall weaken some people. Do that, and now we can support these two together. Bada beam! Excellent. I, I, I am legit trying to focus on supports. Because those do help out kind of a lot. That's Dorcas. Okay, Dorcas I don't really want in danger. Oh crap, that's Guy! I didn't realize Guy was on the move. Okay. Wow, he actually doubles Marcus because he's getting weighed down. Okay, that's actually good. I'm glad we didn't kill Guy. Oh, Marcus, you're not supposed to crit. Actually, <laughs> wait. <laughs> There's no way Marcus is gonna die, right? Actually, holy cow, Marcus might die. No, why are you doubling? I think Marcus might be dead. I didn't even think it was possible to kill Marcus in the early chapters. Unless those archers deal less damage than I thought. Okay, thank you for dodging that. I thought... Does, does Marcus just not have as much defense in hard mode as he normally does? Oh, Mar no, Marcus is dead. Which means Rebecca is dead by transitive properties. Oh my gosh, wait. Wait. No. Doggone it! Wow! <laughs> Marcus? Marcus! How could you kill him? <laughs> well, that means Rebecca's dead. <laughs> actually, no it doesn't. Okay, actually, should we... I'm not use gonna use Rebecca. Should I just use her as live bait? Apparently, Marcus on hard mode just doesn't have defense. Because he took way more damage from normal weapon. Either that or rescuing massively lowers his defense as well. I thought it just lowered his skill and speed, though. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a handicap. Pull back, troops. Okay, how far can Guy reach? Okay. 
I'm trying to set this up so that we can talk to Guy with Matthew on the next turn. And we're going to use that by f literally throwing Rebecca to the wolves. Guy moves first. The problem is... Okay. I'm going to move Rebecca there. I'm going to move Matthew there. We're going to move Lowen back here. Oswin's going to take the fort and start work on these guys. Unless Guy goes after Oswin, he shouldn't. Because he can't kill Oswin, but he can kill Rebecca. What? Oh, or he's in healing mode. Okay. Well, then I think Rebecca just died for nothing. <laughs> you know what? I, I didn't want to use Marcus anyway, so I don't even really care that he's dead. <laughs> Rebecca is so dead, though. Which is bad, because I was going to use her as live bait for Guy, and now I can't. Bye, Rebecca. That's no great loss. I don't like archers in this game in general. Man, this is a bloodbath. See, this is why I never actually played... This is why I never actually beat Hector Hard Mode before, is because when I lost a guy, I would just reset. But I feel like in Hector Hard Mode, you, like, you kind of have to lose characters. Alright. Well, I hope and pray we can move Oswin out of reach of Guy. Otherwise, uh, we in trouble. Yeah, the supports in this are definitely clunky, where it's like, oh, you want to get these two characters to support? You've got to make them stand next to each other for 150 turns to get one. It's like, really? Are you serious? They were serious. Bow to the rescue! Okay, so we've lost... We've lost Sarah and then two bad units. I know. The Fire Emblem fandom is going to be screeching that I called Marcus bad, but, I mean... He, he kind of is. Alright. Hey, Hector, get a crit? Okay, at least you hit. Oh, yeah. That, that's support bonus. I don't know what, actually, Hector... What stats Hector gets boosted on with that support, but... I like it. Alright. Matthew just out of reach of Guy, so he can talk to Guy on next turn. Unfortunately, Guy... Actually, no, Guy used his vulnerary, which... from his wound from Marcus, so he's good. I, I do legit want Guy. Be ah! What? What the butts? No! That is not... What? No! He was out of reach of that. I checked beforehand, he was out of reach of that. That is bullcrap. I literally checked his reach, and he couldn't move there. Why can he move there now, magically? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness he's still in healing mode. You saw that, though. I literally checked Guy's movement range to see if he would hit there, and he couldn't move there, which is why I... <sighs> Whatever. Oh, okay, we don't get the side quest. That's okay, I didn't want to play it anyways. Especially if I don't have Marcus. Ugh, man, well... Hmm, this is difficult. Okay. He is definitely out of healing mode now. And he's gonna start charging towards our units, so... Oh, maybe it was a case of the, the red enemy unit was standing on where he... Okay. So we do have to move Oswin back. That's okay. We can move Oswin back, and now he's officially out of range of guy. Okay, Oswin, you're going to have to be the new Marcus. That's the pretty typical Oswin level up. I, I can dig it. Alright. You know things are looking a little dire when Dorcas is looking like one of my better characters. Nice job. Okay, I, I'm going to use Bart Ray. I've decided. I'm going to try to use Bart Ray unless he gets some really crappy level ups. Okay. Oh, he's got a sword? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. Elwood, maybe. 
Uh, not quite enough. Give me that jab one. Yeah, it is a shame none of the Fire Emblem characters in Smash Bros. are from this game. I low-key, I know there are too many Fire Emblem characters in Smash, but I, w I wish Hector was one of them. Because they don't have an axe wielder. Alright, there we go. Great beer it up. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's like, you didn't even need to weaken him with Lowen. I would have done a critical anyways. Man, Elwood? Elwood's the MVP in Hector's story. Okay. Now, we just gotta make sure... Hmm, okay. That actually is a little scary. Please hit. Please hit. No, cut! What is with Hector not being able to hit anything with his freaking hand axe? Even if it is like a 70% chance of hitting. I'm so sick of that. That was like the 20th time it happened. <sighs> Alright, well. I really hope that Elwood survives. Oh wait, unless the bandit's just in heal- Or unless the archer's in healing mode. Oh, they're both in healing mode. Oh, sweet! Okay, well, the villages were destroyed and two people died, but it's okay. All right, we are going to talk to Guy and recruit him. Oh no, I just realized Marcus died with the secret book. And a silver lance. That's, that's a bit of a shame. Oh well. All right, we got Guy. Really, you can't double a cavalier? Disappointing. Alright, well... Let's put the tank back on the fortress! <laughs> With his javelin! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just be hard relying on Oswin from now on. Wow, that guy's a lot of movement. Oh, we should probably get... Actually, Matthew is out of harm's range. Great. One of these days, El Hector will hit with a hand axe. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually he will. Oh, hey, how, how serendipitous of you. <laughs> Come on, El Good! El Good! El Good! Wow! Elwood's gotten some really good level ups. I, I am impressed. I am seriously impressed with how good Elwood has been this this <laughs> this run. He's leveled up three to like six fiends every single level up, and wow, yeah, that's some pretty solid stats. All right, we are putting an end to this. Die, you stupid Pegasus Knight! <laughs> Jeez. Ridiculous. Alright. Lowen's joining in the fun! I should probably get a, an Iron Sword for Guy. Because his Killing Edge is great, but very limited. Oh my gosh, Lowen has gotten speed twice in a row. What is this Lowen? <laughs> What is this Elwood also? You're level 6, you're level 3. Oh, Burnt Ray needs... Oh, that's right, he's a sword builder. Never mind. Come on, Burnt Ray, do it! Wow, man. Burnt Ray has been pretty darn good. If he gets speed here. Okay, no speed, but he got a lot of other stuff. How does Lowen compare to Sane and Kent? Um, so if you don't, if you don't do Lin's story first, which I did not, then I think Lowen is so much easier to use, because you just get him for the earlier chapters, and Kent and Sane will be kind of far behind in the level-ups once you get them. As far as their long-term potential, Lowen ends up being the tankiest with the highest HP and defense, and like decent other things, but his speed tends to be pretty low. 
Sane tends to be the strongest, with the highest base strength, and as well as like decent hover fans. And then Kent tends to be the most reliable with being the fastest and the most likely to dodge and crit. And kind of has a balance between the other two. I generally prefer... If I do Lin's Story first, I prefer Kent. But if I'm not doing Lin's Story first, then I prefer Lowen. And then Sane is just kind of like, eh, he's alright. That's kind of how I feel. Elwood, Oswin, and Barray and are like my MVPs, which is kind of hilarious. Let's let Guy get the kill. I want to use Guy. I've only used Guy once in my many playthroughs. And, like, he, he was alright, but not great, but I think on Hector Hard Mode, his extra base bump to his bases might be good enough to kind of push him over the edge and make him, like, good. And rather than just okay. I still cannot believe that Marcus died. <laughs> it did not even occur to me that, like, Marcus could die in these early chapters, but I guess Hard Mode bumps enemy strength enough. Alright, Dorcas, your first level up. What's it gonna be? That's a, that's that's an above average. That's an above average Dorcas level up, but still a Dorcas level up. Is Guy the only Myrmidon in the game? Yes. You can get two other Swordmasters, but not Myrmidons. I feel like Guy would be good if he just had a slightly higher strength strength growth, but he just he just tends to kind of be weak, and because he's locked to swords, and swords are naturally kind of weak, he he just struggles to do damage. Also, if, if, I, if I at all can get the Hector Farina support, that would be great. That's the only... Because that leads to the last CG in the game that I've yet to get. Oh my gosh, Dorcas. You weak! It's okay, your best bud Bart Racer to pick you up. Oh no! I forgot about the, the Pegasus Knights! Uh, no! There's a second one, too. I hope the second one can't reach. Oh wait, no, there's not a second one. Wait, where did the other one go? There were definitely two down there to begin with. Alright, well, I'll... You know what? We'll we'll take the lucky break. Finish him off, guy. Oh, that's right, that's the Pegasus Knight that went to heal. Oh man, what a dodge! Nice job, guy. Nice job, my guy. I'm gonna try to get the guy Matthew support. I think that would be pretty great. <laughs> I'm gonna get another javelin for Oswin. <laughs> Oswin is so good. <laughs> I don't think there's a, I don't think I really lost any long-term great units other than Sarah, but even then, we're about to get Priscilla on the next chapter, so it's not going to matter too much. All right. Nice job, Ella Good. Oh wait, hang on. How, what are these Cavaliers like? Are they sword calves or lance? Okay, he's a lance cat. Oh, they're both lance calves. Sweet. All right. Um, I'm gonna just have Hector hang out. I think. Well, hang on. 14 attack. 14 attack. 13 attack. But Hector's gonna, yeah, Hector's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna attack that guy, but Hector's gonna be fine. In there. Barre and Dorcas support. Yeah, there are only two healers in the game. At, at least who's been, who were healers before they promoted and there's Sarah and Priscilla. But I feel like if you don't play Lin's Story first, Priscilla's better anyways. Sarah can be really good if you like abuse her in Lin's Story and get her to a high level, and she basically is unkillable. Oh my 
gosh. Okay, hang on. Owen's level 4 and Lowen's level 4. Alright, let's give Lowen some experience as well. Oh my gosh. I forgot how good the Elwood Hector support is. It, they get it basically instantly, and it, it kind of fixes Elwood's weaknesses, which is mainly his low strength. With, with the Hector support, he is actually doing, like, good damage. There we go. I w if, if the Elwood if the Elwood Hector support gave Hector speed, then then that would be like the ultimate support, and like you should always get it. But that would be a little too good. <laughs> Bart Ray the Brave, yes. <laughs> oh man, Bart Ray, I I thought you kind of sucked, but you've been doing great. All right, I'm gonna start the Guy Matthew support. <laughs> Let's get our tank a little closer. So the Cavs just like, I wonder what they're doing down there. <laughs> He's just been sitting there for the whole game. <laughs> oh no, I wanted Bar Ray to get that. Hey, Hector, miss. No, no Hector's not going to miss when you want him to. Alright, we also should go shopping. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to sell... Actually... We could sell one of Matthew's lockpicks. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, boys, do you have you have a, only a steel lance? Oh, sweet. I thought he had a javelin. All right, Moen, you're gonna go and sell the lockpick and buy some weapons. All right, we're gonna want another. Ja we're gonna want a javelin for Moen. We're gonna want a hand axe for to share. <laughs> And we're gonna get another iron sword for yeah. Okay, that's good. Glad we sold the lockpick. All right, how much damage will you deal? You'll deal twelve. Okay. I'm just gonna have you. Wait, no crit yet. Okay, no. Okay, good. We're gonna just let him sit there. I don't think there's any point in having Oswin do that. But we will get the Hector Oswin support, maybe. Come on out! We're here! Well, 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 you survived, I see. You'll find that I'm a bit tougher than those fools you faced before. What have you done with Marquis Santruz? You want to know? You'll have to beat me first. With pleasure. I am not going to risk the 25% the chance to miss, because Hector's been missing a lot lately. Yes, he got speed! Oh, great Hector level up. Speed, defense, and res. Along with luck and HP. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Alright, pull back. Can we get the kill with Elegood? <laughs> no. Rapier, this is how bad bonus damage is in this game. Rapier, which deals effective damage against armor knights, only deals 2 damage to this guy. Absolutely terrible. Can Lowen even support Elwood? I honestly don't even remember. Okay, well... Give me give me that sword. Bart Ray wants the hand axe. Actually, how much damage can Bart Ray deal to this guy? Not much, and Bart Ray's pretty strong, so... Huh. Bart Ray... Oh wait, Bart Ray already has a hand... When did Bart Ray get a hand axe? Oh, did I... When? Oh, Bart Ray starts with a hand axe. Alright, Dorcas gets the hand axe. I don't know why, but he does. I should have just had Hector vulnerary there. That was a mistake. Well, non-optimal strats. That's what you get from Hardy. Alright, how much damage do you do? You only deal 11. Okay, cool. This is my last vulnerary. <laughs> it's okay, Hector. You can borrow mine. And here we wait. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say not. I'm gonna see if I can hit this guy with a hand axe. What's this? You've made it this far. I paid too much for that worthless pack of cell swords. Turn it, Bart Ray. How about Oswin? Can you hit with a javelin? I'm trying to get a hit with a long range weapon so Ella Good can get the KO. Wow, Dorcas, you're not very good, are you? We'll heal up Hector. Can Ella actually get the KO by himself? No. He can't. That's a bit of a shame. And, but, hey not, does he have a chance to crit? He does not. Okay, I'm, I'm only level with there. I'm gonna do it. Oh, darn it! Lowen could have had a jab. There's no way Lowen would have damaged him. There's no way Lowen would have damaged him. Alright, boys. You've done well to come this far, laddie. Where is Marcus Santarus? I imagine he's on his way to a better place. <laughs> Wait, this is a pirate voice. Wretched cur! Come on, crit. For the ladies. Okay. Well, the ladies are disappointed in you, Ellawood. Alright. Can Bart Ray the Brave help? There! Bart Ray actually hit! Good job, Bart Ray. Hector, hit with your last hand axe! Duck on it, Hector! I'm not getting the kill with Oswin. That would be a waste. I should kill this last guy. I just should. Alright, let's just finish big boys off. So help me, Hector, if you miss this. Thank you! You've, <laughs> you have beaten me, but you're too late to save him. Too, too bad, eh, laddie? <laughs> he laughs when he dies. What a boy. Uh, Hector, I expected better of you. Hector's not been getting very good level ups. Sad to say. Alright, well, we'll just get the supports then, I guess. We're gonna kill the last enemy and then grind up on supports. As soon as we kill the last enemy, it'll make it a lot of Hang on, do you have a sword? No, you have a javelin. Why isn't he breaking the snag? He's like, maybe if I just sit here, they'll pretend, I, like, they pretend they won't see me. Beautiful. I was expecting Bart Ray to get doubled by everything with his base speed, but actually, no. Granted, it might just be one more chapter until he starts getting doubled by everything. Alright. Swap that so you can retaliate. Wait. Okay, good. No, don't attack Dor- Okay. <laughs> wow, Dorcas is so bad he can't even get the kill. There's bad, and then there's Dorcas. <laughs> Alright, finish it. Finish the job, Bart Ray. Sorry, not sorry, but, uh, Dorcas has no long-term unit potential. Others do. Alright. <laughs> now, now we wait for 100 turns. I, at the very least, I'm gonna get the Guy Matthew support, because those are two units I expect I'll use. The Dorcas Bart Ray support is not as important. Still nothing. Alright. We'll get it eventually. This is where I, if I was playing on an emulator, then I could just turbo through this, but... Nope, I'm playing on the native console. By that, I mean the Game Boy Player. There we go, sport. Dorcas, so this is where you've been. You. Now we fight. What? 
I don't understand. Are we supposed to duel? Call it what you will, but now we fight! You, you, you tricked me! You said that... <laughs> you waited till I only have like 10 HP left. There comes a time when every man must test his mettle. So far, I've lost 58 against you and won 57, and I won't lose today. Fine. You know what? Why don't we just say that you won this one too? Idiot! How can you say that? And you call yourself the toughest axe man alive? I don't remember ever saying that. Wait, Dorcas, wait! <laughs> I know, they should... I don't mind the whole, like, oh, like, they'll boost it, they'll get, like, support boosts for sitting next to each other, but why does it take so long? Especially for, like, Renault, who you get out literally on the second to last level, has to stand, like, 150 turns with his units in order to get the support. Like, you would never get them unless you intentionally grind it up this over and over and over again. Oh, cool! Greetings, guy. M Matthew! You seem well. Gotten used to the troop? As much as could be hoped for one chapter. That's good, then. Now, what shall I have you do next? What?! I joined your army! I've paid back what I ate! Now, Guy, have you forgotten? One favor for one piece of meat, right? You still owe me three favors. H hey that's no fair! Don't try to play dumb with me. Look, you wrote it here on this oath paper yourself. <laughs> Demon! What grudge drives you to be so cruel to me? You're not one to mince words, are you? We had a deal. Uh, I'll never give in! I challenge you! The stakes, that oath paper! Now why would I have to do something like that? Uh, <laughs> you're sc just scared I'll beat you! Guy, no one's dumb enough to fall for that old ruse. Ah, quiet! If you're a man, you'll fight me. Fine, fine, have it your way. I'll take you on just this once. If you win, your debts are cancelled. Really? Yes, and I get to choose the timing of the fight. Then choose! My sword will never lose to yours! I'll show you just how much I've learned! <laughs> but it didn't end well. Alright. Let's seize the throne. <laughs> oh no, Marquis Santorus died during all those turns we waited for supports. <laughs> Lord Hellman! He's dead. Oh! Laos is located in the heart of Lycia. <laughs> and Merlinus died because we didn't go on his side quest diver. I'm a little scared of this chapter. There's a lot of cavaliers. Are you certain Fairy's heir is here? No. <laughs> Alright, well, guess what? Because we had a couple of casualties, we can pick everybody. I think you can pick everyone regardless. Oh no, I can't get Urk! Eh, that's okay. Urk kinda stunk. <laughs> that's, uh, that's okay. Urk is like the one character I can't get, and he's just kind of mess, so whatever. Alright, trading time, Woody. Who needs. Okay. I didn't buy vulnerabilities, did I? Okay. Well, hmm. Oswin don't need vulnerabilities. I think Lowen does. Because I feel like Lowen is going to be a frontline fighter. Same with Hector. I also don't like the idea of giving up Matthew's last vulnerary, but I'm going to try to keep Matthew away from the fighting. Also, I've not been checking enemies to see if they have anything to steal, which is not good. Alright. So, Urk is going to be used as life. Bait! Oh yeah, Eric sucks. He's really crap stats and a crap weapon. Okay, we've got to get there. ASAP. So, Lowen... Okay, hang on. Lowen is gonna be down here, and he's immediately gonna charge that way. And Oswin's gonna bring up the rear. That's a lot of Lance users. Oh, that guy's a vulnerary. That's kind of nice. Alright. Dorcas and Bartray, I'm gonna leave behind to take care of that. Hector and Elwood can go up the top. Alright. This is gonna be a tough one. This is definitely going to be a tough one. But I, I need to get to the village, the southern village, because that has Priscilla in it. Hmm. Oh, actually, wait, no, we can get Urk. We can potentially get Urk if we get Priscilla and then have her talk to him. That could be nice. A magic user could be nice, and because we didn't do Lin's story, Urk is going to stay still. So actually, this could work. We certainly could use some assistance. Yeah, 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 you'll, you'll get it. Just trade my hand axe for yours. You don't need it. And you're not gonna double anything anyways. <laughs> Hector could have done it with one hit anyways, but it doesn't matter. 
All right. How much is... Matthew has very little aid, but Urk also has... Yeah, so Matthew can actually rescue Urk. Okay, I don't... Actually, that's, that's pretty risky to do. I'm gonna see if I... <gasps> Oswin, help me, Oswin Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Like, literally, my only hope. Okay. Oh, I should have had Guy and uh, Matthew together. That's okay, okay. Matthew, you're gonna cut up this way. Barre, you're gonna pull just one of these soldiers. Because I know you're... Okay, I'm actually gonna leave Elwood back here as well to kind of help fend off. Eh? What's all this? Looks like a war is broken out. Ha 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 ha! Perfect time for a raid! Up and Adam mates, that village is ripe for plunder. No! That village is off limits! <laughs> it's got Troubadour Girl. Nice dodge, Bart Ray. Bart Ray can't double soldiers? Oh no. Oh, Pegasus Knights. Of course they exist. They exist on every map, apparently. This is one of those maps I really do wish I had Marcus, because normally I send Marcus to get Priscilla. But as long as we can keep the pirates at bay... Because the brigands are going to go... The brigands up here are going to go for this village, and that just has an iron blade. I do not care if they destroy that. But I definitely care if Priscilla's village gets destroyed. Okay, just please hit. Thank you. Alright, this is going to be a tough map. Okay, how much range do these those Pex Knights have? Just enough range. Okay. That is irritating. I'm gonna do that. Oh, those guys don't even move. Oh, oh sweet. Okay. Um, let's see. You go this... Okay. How many of these units can reach? Okay, nobody. Okay, cool. I kind of want... Ma I don't want Matthews too far away, because I do want Guy to start taking on some of these enemies. Just some of them. Not all of them. Okay. Hector's going to go over here. Alright, hang on. Iron Lance, Iron... Okay, Hector's going to go over here. Guard Urk his hand axe. Alright. Okay, those guys have a bit more range than I'd like. Alright. I'm gonna have Guy do this, and I'm gonna have Matthew right behind him to give him the support bonus. Okay, how much speed does this guy... Okay. 8 speed, 5 con, so technically only 5 speed. And then Dorcas has... Yeah, Dorcas can't double regardless, so that's okay. Would have liked for you to crit there, Dorcas. That would have been really cool. But, alas. You can do that. Elwood, you can finish off Soldier Boy. Brave Soldier Boy, come marching home. No. <laughs> he died. Okay, this is going to be a tough chapter. Okay, that Pegasus Knight got scared and is not even going to attack Lowen. That's great. Oswin, you are my one-man army. I'm really going to need you to pull your weight here. Oswin, you are the new Marcus. <laughs> you are invincible. Unlike Marcus, you actually have defense. Okay, guy, please tell me you double mercenaries. Okay, but guy can guy can hold up that area for a good amount of time. Nice dodge, Bart Ray. Oh, nice crit, Bart Ray. Yes. How can people say that Dorcas is better than Bart Ray? Bart Ray is so much better than Dorcas. Okay, well that was a crap level up there, Bart Ray. Wow, what a crit! Also, I realized Oswin's javelin might break.
Yeah, Oswin's Javelin actually is probably going to break, because I've been using it a lot. And I did not give him a backup lance. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness Oswin exists. I end up using Oswin in literally every playthrough just because he's that useful. Okay, well, that's not what we want to see. I kind of was hoping you'd dodge that, but at, le at least you only are going to get attacked by a few enemies. You dare attack Elagood? You shall die! That's right, with no Merlinus, those starting uh, Lance users aren't going to move and attack unless they can hit one of your uh, guys. That's thank goodness for small favors. Alright, Owen, we gotta get you out of there. Nice job, Urk. Oh, nice job, Urk! This is another reason why I didn't rescue Urk. He can actually hold his own for a little bit. Also, Urk has a goddess icon, which I kind of want. Because it would be very good on oh, a guy named Raven. I kind of hope you hit. Thank you, Hector. Thank you, sir! Oswin was the one who absorbed all the experience on your first playthrough. Oswin definitely gets less experience, but he's not like Marcus where it's like, you killed an enemy, you got two experience points. It's not quite that bad. Alright. Bart Ray, <laughs> your planet needs you. We're gonna share the hand axe. <laughs> Dorcas and Bartry together only need one hand axe. <laughs> I love it. Alright, Ella Good. Just finish your handiwork. And unless those guys start moving at an alarming rate, we should be good. Dun duck a dung. Ella Good. Alright. Alright, Bowen, we need you to get out of there. Okay. Cav of Cavs. Don't like that. Much HP. He has too much. Oswin, I kinda hope you crit here. Alright. Too much to ask. But maybe that guy will go into he wait, he had he doesn't have vulnerabilities, does he? No. Rats. Alright, this is actually not good. However, oh wait! Okay. Hmm. Okay, is there anywhere I can go where this stupid archer can't reach me? The answer was no. I'm trying to put Lowen in the place and use a vul his one vulnerary where he has the highest chance of survival. Alright, how much how much defense does Lowen have? He has eight defense. So you can do a five damage. You can do five damage. You can do almost no damage. Okay, cool. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull up here. We are going to equip our Iron Lance, because I do not want that Merc doubling us, and we're gonna use a vulnerary. We're gonna move away from Priscilla, but that's okay, because the pirates are gonna go out towards Oswin instead because they can actually hurt him. I'm trusting that they're going to do that. Alright, Archer can reach there. Alright, that's the case. Hector, equip your hand axe. I'm going to sit here and pull the Merc. And that should put uh, Matthew just within support range. Cool. Yeah. So no one's going to survive. Unfortunately, he now has no vulnerabilities. Oh, Merc's gonna go for Dorcas. <laughs> Dorcas don't care about 47% hit rate. Oh wow, enemies that can actually damage Oswin. Those are few and far between. <laughs> oh no you don't. I guess that guy couldn't technically attack uh, 
Oswin. I think he was Oswin was one square out of reach. Alright. Well. I guess I guess Oswin's gonna go and get Priscilla. Alright, this is this is a little bad. At this point now we're gonna have let's see. We gotta rescue Urk. That mercenary will kill him. We need Guy over here. And... Oh wow, Matthew actually doubles. Cool. That village is totally... Totally gone, but it's okay. Nobody really cared about it anyways. Alright, Elwood... I need you in top form, buddy. There's my last vulnerary. I think that's literally my very last vulnerary. Actually, no. Hector has one and Guy has one. Alright. How much HP? That guy only has 6 HP. Okay, we are taking him out. There we go. This is actually pretty fun. I was afraid this was going to be stupidly difficult, but it's actually... It's still fair. The only stupid stupid difficulty is coming from me missing high percent chance hits, which that that happens. All right, as long as Dorcas and Bart Ray both hit, things should be going well. Crazy Bus can take us home. I think we'll be rolling. All right, we got okay, we got to hit this Bart Ray. Bart Ray. Blast! They're stronger than I had supposed! To the castle! I want all the reinforcements available, and I want them now! <laughs> I want them now! Oh, Lord Elder Eric is struggling! He requests, requests reinforcements! No. <laughs> I also don't know if Eric moves on his own at this point, or if he's just only moves when you get in range. Oh, now the enemies at the beginning are moving! Oh, wow! The village isn't dis destroyed! What a stroke of good fortune! Yes. As long as I get Priscilla, I I think we'll be okay. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! What a... Bart Ray! <laughs> Bart Ray the Brave. Oh, 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 man. Oh, my guys. My guys said just... I think Marcus's deaths shocked everyone so much that they're just like, fine, we'll do this by ourselves. I know that Oswin is stealing a lot of experience points, but I don't have a lot of other options. <laughs> Plus, he's actually... I think Oswin's getting more experience points for just wounding an enemy than he's getting for actually finishing an enemy off. Nice. Never level up for Oswin. I actually hope he doesn't get speed. Nice! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. HP, Strength, Defense. Make him more of a tank. I don't want him to one-round everything. I just want him to be able to weaken everything and survive everything. Nomad? I don't remember Nomads on this course. I guess it's just one. Oh yeah, Rain. Rain is a thing. The village is saved! <laughs> Nice level up, Matthew! I'm impressed. And you get a weapon experience. Alright. Mm, yeah, we gotta go with the Killing Edge. Wow! Nice dodging and 81%. Alright, we're gonna drop Urk up here. We'll come back for him later. He's not gonna move. Okay. go. Excellent. Now... Dorcas. Please hit. Thank you. Oh, man, Dorcas, when did you lose all that HP? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Dorcas! <laughs> oh, it's a very Dorcas level up. 
That level up is like the epitome of Dorcas. Alright, Elwood, um... Elwood, buddy, you gotta move. <laughs> Oswin, buddy, you gotta move as well. I know it's difficult for you and all that armor. We gotta just slowly make our way to Priscilla. I feel like in every single playthrough, either Marcus saves Priscilla or Oswin does. One of the two. I don't think I've ever saved her with someone else. Maybe Lowen once. Oh, hey! Eric is moving on his own. Well, he's moving in towards the area that has Hector, which is a big mistake on his part. Okay, now you're doubling the soldiers there, Bart Ray. Man, I never would have thought Dorcas and Bart Ray would be this, these big savers, saviors. Now you're crap with it, guy. Well, at least that's a guaranteed hit. All right, guy, first level up. Let's show let's show us what you got. That's oh defense. Other than the defense, that was a very guy level up. Except normally he levels up skill. Okay. I also have to make sure that when I save Priscilla, I don't immediately send her to her death. Bartway fair against this guy. He takes nine damage. Oh, okay, yeah, he'll live. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah. If I move him here, he'll live. Especially if I keep Dorcas within range. Alright, I'm gonna move Elwood up this way, because we kind of need reinforcements. Uh, Lowen. Oh, Lowen has two more vulnerabilities? I did not know that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Lowen, you're gonna help out Oswin. Also, let's see. Hmm. Let's get the Iron Blade. <laughs> it's not a very good weapon, but at least maybe we can sell it. Alright. I kind of want one... Well, I don't know how many more pirates spawn, but if, if it's just that, then we should be fine. I'm going to keep Matthew within support range of Guy. And support range of Hector. Ouch. Oh, man. Bart. If Bart... <laughs> Unless Bart Ray starts getting some very crappy level-ups, I'm gonna be using him. Because there are tons of Lance users. No, it's still raining. Counting on you to dodge at least one of these attacks, Lowen. Thank you. Good job. Oh, I also want to... Because this is a route chapter, I want to make sure that I get Priscilla to rest and to talk to Herc. Sooner rather than later. There we go. Job, Bart Ray. Let's see you get a good level up, please. Or at least even an okay level up. Just not a bad one. That's a good level up. Woo! Bart, Bart Ray, if Bart Ray can get a couple points of speed early game, he's so much better of a unit. Okay. That's actually, hmm. You've got 10 attack, you've got 13 attack, he has 5 defense. So he'll take 5 from 1, and... wait, hang on. Okay, hang on. Bart Ray has 5 defense and 13 HP left. So he will take only 5 damage from the Peg Knight, and then he'll take... That just kills him, doesn't it? Well, crap. Alright. Well, um... I'd rather Dorcas die than Bart Ray, so I'm hoping Dorcas dodges one of these. 
Alright, I think that's Rip Dorcas, but I'm okay with that. As long as Bart Ray survives. Actually, but if Dorcas dies, then Bart Ray's gonna be worse. Because he's kind of getting a lot out of that support. Ooh, nice crit without the killing edge guy. Nice job. I'm losing units, but the units I'm losing I'm not particularly sad about. Nice job, Owen. Oh man, you dodged both of those. How am I feeling about the run at this point? I mean... I haven't... I've had kind of a lot of people die, but, uh... Honestly, the people that have died haven't been all that good. Alright, bye, Dorcas. That's okay. What happened to Dorcas? <laughs> I feel like we still have a good chance at, uh... Well, not a good chance, but it, we have a, still a chance of winning. Again, I... Well, after we beat the next level, we're kind of going in blind, because I don't really know any of the other changes that have been made to hard mode. Oh, that guy doubles! Well... That's not good. Okay. What range is on that baby? Okay. We're going to get Bart Ray out of there. Actually, that's, that's quite bad. What weapons do you guys have? You have sword, sword, and a lance. Okay. Low into the rescue! Please hit! Thank you! Alright. Finish you off with a rapier. Good. Get the nomad out of there. Nomads are kind of frightening. Oh, actually... It's been in a bit of danger. And I can't move Hector in close enough to save him. Alright. Gonna get Hector over here. He's gonna equip the Wolf Bale. He's at top HP. He can take out those enemies. Mm. I can't stop that guy from attacking Elwood, so he... Oswin, you're just gonna need to continue your pilgrimage to get Priscilla, and I gotta hope that Elwood don't die. You've always been an eyesore to me. Yeah, shut up, Eric. <laughs> just attack me. <laughs> Eric is such a bad boss. He's worse than your average enemy. Oh, Elwood was already... Oh, I think... That, might, I, that actually might be run over. I forgot Elwood was already mildly wounded. Oh! Elwood, good! Okay. There's a chance. There's a chance we could still live through this. Oh, wait. That guy can attack Elwood, too? Are you serious? Okay. Well, El Elwood, you gotta dodge this next Cavalier. He has a sword, though. <laughs> That's run over. Alright. Mother, father, please forgive me. Darn it, I didn't realize that many enemies could attack him. Well, <laughs> how am I feeling about the run? I don't feel so good about it anymore. <laughs> That's Iron Man over. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to complete the Iron Man run on my first attempt. But, oh man, that was kind of embarrassing. Alright, well, I guess we're done for today, folks! <laughs> um... Let's see, maybe... Maybe I... <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should give this another another attempt next Saturday, or if, it should, if I should switch to another game. I'll have to think about that. But we're definitely done for the stream for today. Thanks for watching, folks! This is a lot of fun, though. Good, good learning experience, and hopefully some funny moments were had as well. So, thanks for tuning in. I will be streaming again uh, next Saturday at the same 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whether it will be another attempt at this run or a different game remains to be seen. I'll have to think about that. But, in the meantime, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.